What's up everybody, it's Hannah Mizet here, and today, today's the day that you learn how to have self-confidence and self-love, and that's on per. So obviously you're on this video because you wanna learn how to be confident, or you wanna learn how to love yourself, and you've came to the right place because we're gonna have that chit chat. So you might as well go ahead and grab your snack, turn me up, get comfortable, grab your heated blanket, and let's get into it. Girl, I see you in the middle, but I'm just chilling chill on your back, I wanna know your name. Girl, I'm just like a blow your brains, put you in the community and no full range. They don't take you to get that brain, drunk like a chicken when you throw that thing. She got me hotter than the oven, the way that she talk, switching the figures, so I'm loving the way that she walk. You look good, girl, you ought to be in pictures. Listen to me, I see your career going sky high. Taking you home to the crib in the shot, and every time I see your thighs, I cry when I drive by. Watching you should be a thrill, got the fellas also trying to give steady spirit. So before I begin this video, let me just tell you that you do not have to be skinny, tall, short, you know, plus size. You don't have to be anything to be confident. You just need to be yourself. And confidence starts from within and works its way on the outer side. I'm gonna keep it real with you. In this day and age, it's super hard for some people to be confident and to love themselves because we're surrounded by social media. Yes, I am blaming social media because everybody is on it 24 seven. People look at people 100% of the time. Every time we go on a social media, there's somebody else that pops up. And when we start to look at different types of people and start to see, wow, this girl's really pretty or wow, this guy's handsome, we start to nitpick at ourselves subconsciously. What that means is I could be scrolling down Instagram all day, looking at all these beautiful women. And then when I get off of Instagram, I'm gonna start looking at myself and then I'm gonna start nitpicking like, oh, you don't have abs like this one girl, or mm, your hair isn't as curly as this other girl's, or as loose curls, or whatever it may be. Stuff like that starts forming insecurities, which starts to not make you confident, which starts to make you not wanna love yourself because you see everything that everybody else has instead of just loving what you have. And that's the tea for today. Being confident and loving yourself is like a routine, and with a routine, it takes time to practice. It's not gonna happen overnight. So with that, you need to change your mindset. You, I'm saying this right, you need to change your mindset. You need to change the energy that you're protruding around yourself. So what this means is, instead of complaining and not liking and looking at everybody else and what they have, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. Say, I am the baddest, period. You need to say it right now, say it with me. I am the baddest on my mama, period. You need to look at yourself and ask you, why do you not like these things about yourself? Why do you hold yourself like this? Why am I not setting the bar high? And what I mean by changing energy is, basically, when you speak negative things out into the universe, you're only gonna get negative results. So if I start saying I'm ugly, then the universe is gonna be like, all right, you think you're ugly? I'm gonna start making you feel that way. No, from here on out, from right here on out, it's only positive vibes only and positive things that you're gonna say to yourself. What really helped me with my confidence was envisioning the person I wanna be. I want to do whatever it is in the world that I want to do. I wanna be an entrepreneur. So how would I hold myself like an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs usually, if you see boss women, they hold themselves with a profession and accountability and they hold the bar high once again. You would never see a boss enter the room and look unconfident, if that makes sense. So you have to envision the person you wanna be. Who do you want to be? Who is the person you look up to? How do they act? How do they walk? How do you want to present yourself when you walk into a building? These are all different things that will help you with self-confidence. This is super, super important and I cannot stress this enough. Do not care about other people's opinions. What is somebody else's opinion to you? Okay, you think my hair isn't cute? Okay, I don't care. Oh, you think I shouldn't wear this outfit because what, my butt looks too big? Okay, why, well, you wish you had one, okay? Oh, uh, you think that I shouldn't wear this shirt because my cleavage shows? Just say that you're a misogynist to go, baby. All these different opinions that people wanna try to throw at you do not matter. If you wanna wear that skirt, wear it. It makes you feel confident, right? It makes you feel good. Wear it, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. If what you're wearing is going to give you confidence, then wear it. When you take off those clothes, that make you feel so confident, for example, and you still don't feel confident. You need to give yourself affirmations. You are enough, you are beautiful, you are confident. You are everything that you need. You don't need other people's validation for how you feel. You are it. You are worthy. And that's all you need to know. Another tip for being confident and how to love yourself is that you're not gonna find confidence tearing other people down and you're really not gonna find confidence thinking that it's a competition. Give yourself affirmations. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. You love every flaw about you. And that's one thing about confidence. Confidence, you have to embrace every single part of you. 
there is no comparing yourself there is no oh i wish i was her oh i wish i had this no because whatever you have inside of you is what you have you cannot change yourself to be like anybody else that starts with the love as well you have to love yourself love the, every single flaw that you have love every single personality point about yourself that's that so i hope this video helped in a way I hope by end of this video you will start to get into the routine of being confident and loving yourself because I hate to see people not confident. I hate to see people not loving themselves. If you have any other questions or tips or any comments, put them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to get back to you, hopefully. <laughs> well, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. I'm gonna do